This video is going to be a full Sendio walkthrough. So we're going to get started by integrating Sendio within our Convertry account. Then we're going to be creating a form within Sendio itself, which will act as a target where our users' emails will be stored. And finally, a working form at page level using this form target that we created within Sendio. This is a full how to really get started with Sendio. So to kick off, we need to go and get it integrated by going to the account dashboard and clicking on integrations on the left hand toolbar. Scroll until you see Sendio and then click set up. So the two things that you will need will be your token key and your API secret key. The easiest way of finding these has already been given to you by Convertu with this little blue link. So log into Sendio in a separate tab and then click this link and you'll be taken to your account settings. From here, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll be able to see your API token and your API secret, and you can copy and paste these in. Once you've done these two things, your Sendio account is successfully integrated within Convertry. You'll get a green message pop up in the Sendio box itself, but when you click off, you'll be able to see this green tick next to Sendio, so you know that we're integrated. So, as I said, the next thing is to create a form in Sendio, or it's sometimes called a list, it's sometimes called an audience. It differs from autoresponders, but it's all the same thing, where you can store your email addresses. Because if you have lots of pages on your accounts, the, subscription, the subscribers may be asking for different content. You may want to segment them and target advertise them so that you're not just th throwing people information that they didn't want because you don't actually know what they asked for. So each page can have its own form and then sit segmented within Sendio. So to create one of these within Sendio, go back to where you logged in in the separate tab. From here, click on email and from this drop down, scroll until you see forms and then my forms. Here you can see I've got a couple of pages of forms and these will show up within Convertry. If I wanted to create a new form for the process of this to today, I would click add form and you can just name it whatever you want. So if you're creating a working page, name it something you'll remember, or you can just name it a test one today, like this one I have here, just to show you how to create a form within Sendio. And then you'll be able to see how many people have subscribed, etc., to your page. And if you, you know, you don't need this one anymore, you can delete it, you can edit the forms here as well. So this is how you really segment your audience. Naming them something similar to what your Convertry name page is named is really good practice. It just helps you to understand exactly what goes where, but you can do it however you want. And so once you feel set up, we can go back to Convertry and we can go to the funnel and page which we want to add a working form to. So I'm using a template today within Convertry um, just to make it look as much like a real page as possible. But if you just want to do this and follow along with me for the process of a test or create from scratch, the minimum two elements that you will need is an email box and a submit button. Um, I've also included a first name box to collect a bit more information from my users and then that will be stored within Sendio. So to get these, you just go to the form elements tray and you can see here's the first name box I entered, here is the email box and here is the submit button. So once you're happy that you've got these elements on your page, we can get this form up and running. We're going to forms in the top hand toolbar, autoresponders and then scrolling until we see Sendio. So this says which Sendio list would you like to add your prospects to. List is form, like I said sometimes called different things but when this drop down you'll be able to see all of the lists and all the forms that I just showed you so I just showed you test so we'll do test for the process of this and you'll see this differs from autoresponder to autoresponder so it's good to know what your one does that fixed fields is a field that both Convertry and Sendio understand so the fixed field is email it's labeled email and they're both saying hey that's an email it's type but you can see with that name box I put in it's not so sure. It's asking me, can from the drop down, can you choose what this is? This is called configuring your form types. So this was my first name box. And now it will know, hey, that's what that does. And this means that when you have all of that precious information in Sendio, it's categorized properly. So it's not just random letters or words that Sendio is saying, hey, I don't know what that is. You have to tell it. And so it's always important to configure your form 
field before you get moving. And so if you click done, you'll be taken to the thank you page. I've already got one set up, which is why I need to click off it. But if you just click done for the first time on a clean page, you'll be taken here to talk about thank you pages. Whether you say, hey, I don't want a thank you page, just keep my users on the page, don't redirect. And that would be toggling this on. Or you can say, hey, I have a thank you page I like to use. And if so, just paste the URL in here. And you can decide whether the form data also needs to be submitted to there as well. So once you've filled out your autoresponder box and your thank you page URL, click done. And now we've got a little red tick next to the forms icon that wasn't there before, which lets us know that our form is set up and ready to be used. So now you're ready to publish your page and you can test it for yourself and then go back to your forms list with Incendio and see that an email address has popped up and you know that you're ready to start collecting with Sendio.